they come. They're off and a trotting off stride at the start with Sierra Pine and quickly to the front is All-Star Edition. Settling in second is Boulevard taking a seat. Keystone Lorenzo has the third spot. At the pylons is a Bingham. Then we come back to Townmeister, Damon Runyon, and off to a break at the start, Sierra Pine. Bend around the first turn and trot toward the opening quarter. All-star edition has a late length. Boulevard tracks from second along the inside. Keystone Lorenzo trots along in third as they trot by the opening quarter in 29 and 4. Straighten up down the back stretch. Tim Twaddle pulls the trigger on Boulevard and he's rough gated there. All-Star Edition has a late, it's a length and a half. Through the inside, Keystone Lorenzo reclaims the second spot, another two and a half back to Bingham. Three back to uh, Townmeister, and we come back to Damon Runyon, back trotting is Sierra Pine, and back trotting at the end is uh, Boulevard. They trot toward the half-mile station on the point, it's All-Star Edition, and Tom sells, and it's a length. Keystone Lorenzo a little closer to the pocket, second by the half and 59 and three. Off the turn and pass in front of the grandstand once again. All-Star Edition maintains a one-length lead. Keystone Lorenzo a tight pocket second. Towards the inside, Bingham remains in third. Damon Runyon and uh, Dave Ingraham on the move the outside, and that flushes Bingham out. Shuffle back towards the inside, Townmeister. Back trotting and moving in the outer tier is Sierra Pine. And also back trotting and moving up is Boulevard. Field of seven. Uh, Around the turn and trot toward the mile, rather the uh, mile marker, three-quarter mile station was in 130 flat. Around that turn and straighten up down the back stretch. All-Star Edition, he's called all the shots so far. Bingham and Gene Miller on the attack second. Down along the inside, Keystone Lorenzo is a tight third. Moving with cover is Damon Runyon. Down towards the inside is Townmeister. Moving on the rim, Sierra Pine and Boulevard. They trot by and towards now the uh, mile marker on a three wide sweep, Damon Runyon up to take on All-Star Edition as he dispatches the first challenge. Down along the inside is a Keystone Lorenzo. Sliding through at the pylons is Townmeister. The mile trotted in two minutes flat. Head into the paddock turn for the final time. All-Star Edition the inside. Damon Runyon the outside, nose to nose, eye to eye for the lead. Keystone Lorenzo starts to gain momentum and Wallace tips him three wide. Four lengths back to Townmeister. Less than an eighth of a mile, a trot there on their way home. All-Star Edition digs in and cuts the corner with a short lead. Damon Runyon is right at him second. Through the inside late, here comes Townmeister. All-Star Edition along the inside. Not to be denied tonight. He wins the mile in 5 sixteenths and a world record. Record, 235 and 4. his way back to the winner's circle, the official winner of tonight's featured 50, Florida Ushwa Memorial Trot tonight in the memory of Mike Perry, number three, all-star edition. A six-year-old Bay gelding by moving forward from the speedy crown mare, Maudine Ann. Owned by Basil Kellis and Yvette Prudenzano of Augusta, Maine, trained and reigned to victory by Tom Sells. The time for the mile and five sixteenths, a new world record. It betters the previous mark set by Night Court Dan at Mohawk Raceway in September of 1997, and mile and 5 by a Night Court Dan 2.36 and 1, and uh, All-Star Edition with his victory tonight, establishes a new world record for his age, sex, and gait at the distance for on a 5 8 mile track. Direct your attention to the winner's circle, the uh, blanket and hardware being presented to uh, Tom Sells by members of the United States Harness Riders Association in memory of Mike Perry. And uh, Mike, well known in harness racing throughout North America, was a very successful college basketball coach and uh, translated that into uh, a trip to uh, Europe where he uh, got Rick Smits to come to the U.S. and Rick Smits eventually ended up paying, playing for the uh, Pacers and also uh, Mike Perry, God bless his soul, was instrumental in getting Team Nardine here to the United States back in the 80s and 90s.